look at the size of those I know. grips. I know. Oh my I've goodness. actually held one of those before. It is literally like a baseball bat. Let's take a look at this one. Just let's listen to it as well. Smack. He's lost a lot of body mass. He's also had some time out as well. Welcome back, Bryson, to the rain and the cold. It looks like a steel shaft, doesn't it? Look at that. So it does. That's not something you see every day. <laughs> I'm excited. An excited fan over on the right hand side. It's actually sure that one. It is exciting to be here to be honest. Look at this as well. <laughs> I think he's just got a <laughs> mouthful of divot, was it? A bit sandy, bit gritty. <laughs> Let's see if we can find out what happened there. You okay, Bryson? <laughs> what happened there? Some guy. Oh, <laughs> Before we'll let you have a little break before you hit this one. Okay. We just want to say hello and welcome back you? to the open. It's really yeah. great to see you here again. Thanks. Glad to be here. Mm. Y'all doing good? Yeah, we're great. And uh, you know, this is such an exciting week. Some people say it's the best week of the year, the open <laughs> here in Hoylake as well. Great to be back. And what what have you made of it all so far? Well, it's a strategic golf course. It's a golf course where depending on the wind, you got to take those bunkers on or uh, lay back and give yourself a long iron in. So it's, it's going to be a good test of golf. It's not going to run out. It's going to be um, wet spinning everywhere well sometimes uh, around the green it's going to be a lot of skipping and rolling but other than that it's uh, going to be a good test and on a scale of one to ten uh, Bryson how much do you love Lynx golf uh, I would say like a nine it's it's a lot of fun there are times where it's like man I just got really screwed and that's that one but other than that it's a lot of fun I played Royal Litham St. Anne's around here pretty close we actually played here for, for a practice round um, so I got to see the course a long time ago internal OB some conversations. <laughs> that's, that's quirky. Yeah, conversations about that, but we all got to play it. We all got to we got to step up and hit a good shot. Yeah, good. What sort of shots do you think it demands the most out of your own game? Oh, just consistency and precision. Oh, it's, consistency and precision are like the most important things. Um, more here than ever. Um, you can't put yourself in bad bad spots. If you do, you're going to be chipping far away from the hole and uh, you know having a tough time uh, making some shots. So it's even though there's some some room out here, it's still diabolical and you got to be precise and strategic and think through the golf course which I like I actually like doing that I uh, played well at Valderrama a couple weeks ago and um, that's definitely a golf course you got to think through so hopefully that pays off here if there's someone that can think through things we know it's you Bryson <laughs> <Or> overthink it. <laughs> listen can just finally can you tell us about the set of your driver because I mean we want to start with the grips they're in yeah. enormous they're gigantic I mean yeah I've been using Joma Max uh, since 2011 and then this head is actually not too much um, different than a, than a stock head um, just because I've been trying to slow down a little bit, the face technology is not there yet for any driver. Um, it's not built correctly mm. for the face curvature and whatnot uh, to support 190 ball speed. And so wow. I kind of had to like hone back a little bit. I went through that whole experiment and obviously you can see yeah. how far offline I did certain shots and um, as I've honed back, it's gotten a little bit better. But uh, yeah, some work needs to be done. Can someone just make a freaking driver with curvature correctly, please? <laughs> for 190 and up. You can make it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, well. <laughs> I, I could. But it's a long pro. T to be honest, drivers are super intricate to make, mm. and people don't realize how much stuff goes inside the head mm. as well. Um, but the next step for people to really gain a huge, huge advantage is that curvature. And I know they're talking about the ball and everything like that, but you know. Um, was it Adam Scott that talked about the driver make be getting smaller or whatever? Mm -hmm. more difficult? Yeah, I mean, that, back that, to the persimmons. Yeah, yeah, that would make it more difficult, you know, rather than a golf ball change. But certainly, if someone could build that before they rule change it, it'd be really nice. Okay, you heard it here first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> brilliant. Well, Bryson, listen, we hope you have a cracking week and it's great to see you again. Great to see Thank you, you for your time. You. Cheers, Bryson. That's super insightful. Yeah, lovely. Lovely. Also, just watch how high he hovers that driver, good inch and a bit off the floor. Every single shot. That's and the rain is trickling back down. And here she comes. Pitter patter, soft toilet rain. Quite interesting just to seeing him. Oh, that's, that's a little bit better there from Bryson DeChambeau. Really high ball flight though, isn't he? Yeah, definitely teeing that ball a little higher than usual, but 
I pointed it out moments ago, he's definitely hovering that club a good inch and a half. Having a wee blather with him a few moments ago and now we're watching him really cranking things up as Incy pointed out, hovering it way off the ground which 